Okay, and if it isn't going as well as we might wish, uh, that becomes a spur to actually trying harder, engaging with more people and trying to drive this thing forward. Um, so um, another thing we're also looking at is, is funding. At the moment we're a voluntary organisation. Um, you know, what's the single most important issue facing humankind at the moment? Um, climate change, um, how much money have we got? None. Uh, we're all volunteers. That perhaps tells its, all, perhaps tells its own story. So, um, you know, if we're serious about this, we need to try and think of ways of leveraging more funding into the organisation to get more done. And that's something we're working on at the moment. Uh, communication is also important. Um, unless and until we become something other than what we currently are, we're still a stakeholder organisation. We're a network of volunteers. So communication is important. Enthusiasm is important. Engagement is important. Hence these sorts of events today. Uh, and I think the thing to say here is we want to welcome all comers, we want to welcome all comments, we want people to be engaged, we don't have a monopoly of wisdom, uh, we can't answer every question and we can't know everything that's going on so it's important for people to communicate with us as what they're doing as well as us communicating to you what we think we're doing. So um, you know it is work in progress, I think we're making some, uh, perhaps we could go faster, I don't know but I think we're heading in the right direction and I feel quite positive about things at the moment. So thanks for coming and uh, I'll hand over to Kate. Thank you. This feels really wrong. It feels like it's a bar or something. Good evening everyone. Um, my name's Kate Chappell. I'm Executive Member for the Environment at Manchester City Council. And it's just lovely to see so many people who I've seen in different workplaces and scenarios over over the years, and I'm totally intimidated by the amount of expertise that's in this room tonight. It must be millions and millions of pounds worth of brain power in this room. People who know so much stuff about climate change, and it's really exciting everyone's part of Manchester as the future. I want to say three things, I'm going to try and keep it brief. Something about Manchester citywide, a little bit about all the things we need to do, not all of them, but and just a little bit about the things that we need in order to do those things. Um, but first of all about Manchester. Um, I moved to the city five years ago having never even visited the city. So I didn't know anyone here and the only thing I knew about Manchester and the reason I wanted to move here was that it is a progressive city that has through all of the years worked really hard to make the world a better place and make things better for people and that's the sole reason that I chose to move to the city and it's, I found that to be very true and I think it's particularly incumbent on us as a city and you'll hear this people saying this the whole time but I really think it's true as we face this next massive challenge for this century and centuries to come, climate change that it is Manchester who continues to be progressive, continues to lead on it and that's why I'm so excited to be part of this adoptive city and to be part of this group because we're the people here who are leading it across the city, that fight against climate change. I think we um, have to be careful about reputations because you can't spin them, you can't fake them. What people know about a city is really true. And we need to be careful when we look at climate change in Manchester that we're not all fur coats and no knickers. We're not just talking a good game and not getting things done. Um, and I feel like we've done really well with um, the championing, the visioning, the ideas, the original document, the plan, Manchester, a certain future. That document is there, it's fantastic. And now what we need to do is some of the delivery that sits behind that. I think also we have to be careful not to be all knickers and no fur coat, which is sometimes sort of worse, um, and focus too much on the delivery and not talking about what we're doing. So we need to get that right balance of championing things and getting down and getting it done. Sorry, that analogy is... <laughs> I'll, I'll edit that one out, perhaps. Um, but we need to get the right balance. I think we're, we're further ahead with the championing, with the ideas, with the vision, and we now need to catch up with the implementation and, and delivery. Um, so how do we identify all of those projects that need to be done? And the answer is very simple. We've got thematic, uh, thematic groups of the Manchester Research and Future structure and various other people around the city who are working to identify what needs to be done, gathering in all the specialist knowledge and expertise and, and working on it. Um, I, I used to, a few years ago, carry around this little tiny pink notebook that said someone should on the front. 
And every time I thought, walked down the street and saw something that needed to be done, like someone, someone should fix that light bulb or someone should make sure that this bus stops somewhere else, I'd write it down in this book and then go, you know what, no one else is going to do any of these things. <laughs> because it's in my someone should book, I'm going to have to at least make a first step to do all of these actions. And I sort of feel the same applies to climate change across Manchester. We need to identify all those things that we think, oh, someone should do that. We need to write them down in our MACF Someone Should book. And then we, as MACF, MACFAs, as I think we might call ourselves from now on, need to get on and start doing those actions. So I thought I'd give you my five Someone Should from earlier today, just the first five that came through my head. Um, someone should quickly and cheaply make Deansgate into a standout place for cycling, moving the cars to one side, putting a cycle lane between the cars and the pavement, mm -hmm. putting some green paint down and um, uh, a few deck chairs, maybe having a pedestrian area, just making it somewhere that's a real, not a lot of expense, not a lot of time, just something quick, snappy, it says we care about cycling in Manchester. Mm -hmm. Um, someone should convert a surface car park in the city centre into a new park. That one would be good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We look at it every day and it's very depressing. Plenty. <laughs> Someone should test dynamic demand and smart networks on an estate-wide basis. And forgive me, I know lots of you are already doing this work and you'll have the Someone Ships and you'll be working on it, but someone should, someone should do that. Um, someone should create shallow ponds or scrapes and carefully sign them so that people know what they are mm -hmm. on several of those large bits of green space that are totally redundant beside roads at the moment. Um, and we just need to do that across the city. And um, someone should make sure that this time next year we're able to recycle rigid plastics through our, through our waste bins. So those are my top five someone shoulds from today. And my plea to all of you is just to think about any of your someone shoulds over the next couple of days, write them down and shove them into your thematic group business plan. We need to just gather all of those actions. When we've got all those actions, we've got all the business plans, the thematic groups, what do we need to actually get them done, um, we're going to need money. Uh, there's no way, two ways about that. The things we're talking about are going to cost money. I don't think we're going to be able to make traditional business cases for all the wonderful things that we need to do. So we need to find investment mechanisms um, and make the financial case for, um, for those things. We're going to need lots of support and we're going to need a really solid list of projects that are worked up and costed. I don't think finding the money is, is going to be the problem. I think it's getting that list of credible projects that are worked up and costed that's going to be our big barrier over the next couple of years and the thing we should be focusing on and working on. But I think we've got all of the expertise to do that right here in this room. So many other people who are part of this who aren't here, I think we're in a great position to move forward. So those of you who've got a glass, to Macfus, <laughs> to Manchester, and to making it happen. Very good. Yeah. Yeah.